Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 says, And without faith it is impossible to please God, because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists, and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. Welcome back to the Story Prince channel. Today I bring another great story to you. God's not dead. As you are listening don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notification for another great story. Thank you. God's not dead. In the beginning, there was chaos, and from that chaos emerged the divine presence known as God. But as time passed, humanity began to question and doubt the existence of God. Doubt grew like a dark cloud, casting shadows over faith and belief. In a small town nestled in the countryside, a young pastor named David found himself grappling with his own crisis of faith. Doubt gnawed at his soul, whispering that perhaps God was nothing more than a comforting illusion. But one fateful day, as David stood in his empty church, wrestling with his doubts, a stranger arrived. The stranger's eyes gleamed with an otherworldly light, and his voice carried the weight of eternity. He says, I have come to show you that God is not dead, the stranger declared. With those words, David's journey began. Together, he and the stranger embarked on a quest through time and space, witnessing moments of divine intervention and profound miracles. They encountered people from all walks of life believers and skeptics, saints and sinners each with their own struggles and doubts. Through it all, David's faith was tested and strengthened. He learned that God's presence was not confined to the pages of ancient scriptures or the walls of grand cathedrals. God was alive and active in the world, working through ordinary people and extraordinary events. As David's journey neared its end, he came to a profound realization. God found the strength to persevere. As the years passed, David's influence spread far and wide, inspiring countless others to embrace their own journey of faith and discovery. And though he knew that his time on earth was finite, he took comfort in the knowledge that the legacy of his journey would live on, a beacon of hope for generations to come. And so, with a heart full of gratitude and a soul at peace, David continued to walk his path, knowing that wherever he went, the presence of God went with him, a constant companion in the ever-unfolding story of creation. As David's journey continued, he found himself drawn to distant lands and unfamiliar cultures, eager to explore the diverse tapestry of human experience. Along the way, he encountered ancient wisdom traditions and modern spiritual practices, each offering unique insights into the nature of existence and the divine. In the mountains of Tibet, he sat in silent meditation alongside monks who had dedicated their lives to seeking enlightenment. In the bustling streets of India, he witnessed the vibrant tapestry of Hindu festivals and rituals, celebrating the myriad forms of the divine. And in the remote villages of Africa, he danced with tribes who honored the spirits of their ancestors, weaving their stories into the fabric of their lives. With each encounter, David's understanding of God expanded, embracing the richness and complexity of human spirituality. He learned that while the language of faith may vary from culture to culture, the essence of the divine remained constant, an ever-present source of love, compassion, and guidance for all who sought it. But amidst the beauty of his travels, David never forgot the people he had left behind, the ones who had first opened his eyes to the reality of a living God. And so, he returned to his small town, his heart overflowing with gratitude for the community that had supported him on his journey. Together, they continued to spread the message of hope and redemption, reaching out to the lost and the lonely with arms open wide. And though their path was not always easy, they walked it with courage and conviction, knowing that they were never alone, that the hand of God was always there to guide and protect them. And so, as the sun set on another day, David stood once more in his empty church, the echoes of his journey reverberating through the silent halls. And as he closed his eyes in prayer, he felt a deep sense of peace wash over him, knowing that wherever life's twists and turns may lead, the presence of God would always be there, lighting the way forward. As David stood in the quiet sanctuary of his church, he felt a gentle breeze rustle through the open windows, carrying with it the faint scent of wildflowers. It was a reminder of the beauty and wonder that surrounded him, the same beauty and wonder that he had encountered on his journey, in every corner of the world. With a smile on his lips and gratitude in his heart, David opened his eyes and looked out at the familiar pews, now filled with members of his congregation. Their faces glowed with anticipation, 
eager to hear the words he would speak, the stories he would share. And so, with a voice filled with warmth and sincerity, David began to speak. He spoke of love and forgiveness, of compassion and empathy. He spoke of the countless ways in which God had touched his life and the lives of those around him, weaving a tapestry of miracles and blessings that stretched from the beginning of time to the present moment. As he spoke, the room seemed to come alive with energy, as if the very air were charged with the presence of something divine. And as the words flowed from his lips, David felt a deep sense of connection, not just to his congregation, but to something much greater, something beyond the confines of mortal understanding. And when he finally finished speaking, when the final echoes of his voice had faded into the stillness of the church, David knew that he had fulfilled his purpose, that he had shared the message of a living God with all who would listen. And as he stepped down from the pulpit and made his way through the crowd, he was met with smiles and hugs, with words of gratitude and encouragement. For in that moment, they knew that they were not alone, that they were part of something greater, something eternal. And as they gathered together, hand in hand, heart in heart, they felt the presence of God among them, a silent witness to their faith, their hope, and their love. And in that moment, they knew that God was not dead, but very much alive, in each and every one of them. As David basked in the warmth of the shared moment with his congregation, he felt a sense of profound peace settle over him. It was a peace that transcended understanding, a peace born from the certainty that they were all united in their faith, and in their connection to something greater than themselves. As the days turned into weeks, and the weeks into months, David and his congregation continued to live out their faith in tangible ways. They reached out to those in need, offering comfort to the grieving, support to the struggling, and hope to the despairing. Together, they became beacons of light in a world too often shrouded in darkness, showing others the way to a deeper, more meaningful existence. And though they faced challenges and setbacks along the way, they never wavered in their commitment to living out the message of love and compassion that had been entrusted to them. And as they continued on their journey, they found that their faith only grew stronger with each passing day. They discovered new depths of understanding and insight, as they delved deeper into the mysteries of the divine. But perhaps most importantly, they found a sense of purpose and belonging, a community of kindred spirits bound together by their shared belief in a living God. And so, as they looked to the future with hope and anticipation, they knew that their journey was far from over. For as long as there were hearts to be touched and lives to be transformed, they would continue to spread the message of God's enduring presence, shining brightly as a testament to the power of faith and the resilience of the human spirit. As the seasons changed and the years passed, David and his congregation remained steadfast in their commitment to their faith and their mission. They continued to serve their community with compassion and dedication, never losing sight of the guiding principles that had brought them together in the first place. Their church became a beacon of hope in the midst of uncertainty, a sanctuary where all were welcome and accepted with open arms. People from all walks of life found solace within its walls, drawn by the promise of unconditional love and acceptance. But even as they focused on their local community, David and his congregation remained connected to the broader world around them. They reached out to those affected by natural disasters, sending aid and support to those in need. They spoke out against injustice and oppression, standing up for the marginalized and vulnerable. And through it all, they continued to bear witness to the living presence of God in their midst. They saw miracles unfold before their eyes, as lives were transformed and hearts were healed. They felt the guiding hand of the divine in every moment, leading them forward on their journey of faith and discovery. As David grew older, he knew that his time on earth was drawing to a close. But he took comfort in the knowledge that the legacy of his journey would live on in the hearts of those he had touched along the way. And as he passed the torch to the next generation, he did so with a sense of peace and fulfillment, knowing that the message of a living God would continue to shine brightly in the world for generations to come. In his final days, surrounded by loved ones and members of his congregation, David reflected on the journey that had brought him to this moment. He thought of the doubts and struggles he had faced, the moments of profound clarity and connection, and the countless lives that had been touched by his message of hope and love. As he looked back on his life, he realized that every trial and triumph had been a part of a larger tapestry, a tapestry woven with threads of faith, courage, and compassion. 
and though he knew that his time on earth was coming to an end, he felt a deep sense of gratitude for the opportunity to have been a vessel for God's love and grace. In his final moments, as he closed his eyes for the last time, David felt a profound sense of peace wash over him. He knew that he was not alone, that the presence of God surrounded him, enveloping him in a warm embrace of eternal love. And as his spirit soared into the heavens, he left behind a legacy that would endure for eternity, a legacy of faith, hope, and the unshakable belief that God is not dead, but alive in every heart that beats with love and compassion. As David's spirit ascended into the heavens, his legacy lived on in the hearts of those he had touched. His congregation, now led by a new generation of faithful believers, carried forward his message of love and compassion, continuing the work he had begun. They found strength in their memories of David, drawing inspiration from his unwavering faith and dedication to serving others. And as they faced new challenges and opportunities, they did so with the same courage and conviction that had defined their beloved pastor's life. In the years that followed, the small town where David had served as pastor flourished, becoming a vibrant community of hope and healing. People from near and far were drawn to the warmth and welcome of the church, finding refuge from the storms of life and a renewed sense of purpose in their faith. And though David was no longer with them in body, his spirit remained a guiding presence, a reminder that God's love endures beyond the boundaries of time and space. As the sun set on another day, casting golden rays across the landscape, the members of David's congregation gathered together once more, their hearts filled with gratitude for the gift of his life and the eternal promise of God's presence. And as they lifted their voices in prayer and praise, they knew that though they may face challenges in the days ahead, they would always be buoyed by the knowledge that God was with them, walking beside them every step of the way. For in the end, they understood that the greatest testament to the reality of a living God was not found in words or deeds, but in the quiet moments of connection and communion, when hearts were open and spirits soared, and the presence of God was felt in every breath, every heartbeat, every soul. And so, the story of David and his journey came to a close, but the legacy of his faith, and the message of a living God lived on, echoing through the ages like a timeless melody. In the hearts of those who had been touched by his life, the flame of hope burned brightly, illuminating the path forward with its warm and steady glow. As the stars twinkled overhead and the night descended, the members of David's congregation bid farewell to their beloved pastor, knowing that though he may have left this earthly realm, his spirit would forever remain a guiding light in their lives. And as they turned to face the future with hope and courage, they did so with the knowledge that no matter what challenges lay ahead, they would always be surrounded by the boundless love and grace of a God who was not dead, but alive in every moment, every breath, every heartbeat. For in the end, they understood that the greatest miracle of all was not found in the grandeur of the heavens or the mysteries of the universe, but in the simple yet profound truth that God's love was ever-present, everlasting, and ever-true. And with that comforting thought in their hearts, they stepped forward into the unknown, ready to embrace whatever lay ahead with faith, hope, and love. And so, the story of David and his journey came to a close, but the story of God's enduring presence in the world continued on, a timeless tale of love, redemption, and the eternal promise of hope. Thank you for listening to this great story. God's Not Dead Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification for another great story, thank you. I see you next time. Bye-bye.